Hi guys, welcome! The Dancer is one of the newest job classes coming to Ragnarok Mobile in Episode 5 alongside the Bard and a Sage class. There's speculation that the Episode 5 might be released just a few weeks from now, so everyone is really excited for the debut of these new classes. In my previous video, we talked about all the things you need to prepare for in creating a Bard character. This time, we'll focus on the female counterpart, which is the Dancer. We'll look into the unique characteristics and skills of this class, the possible equipment and cards you can craft and buy, and all the other things needed in the future. Hopefully, by the end of this video, you'll have a better understanding on how to prepare for the Dancer class. Alright, without further ado, let's begin. As we mentioned in the previous video, Dancers specialize at disruption and debuffs. Their buff and debuff combo skills with the Bard make them an invaluable asset in the War of Imperium. However, dancers are not solely for support, they are also capable of dealing huge amounts of damage. Thus, similar to the bar, there are also two build strategies for dancers, a support and debuff build and a battle type build. A dancer can change to the gypsy transcendent job at job level 40 and then can change to the wanderer job at job level 70. Keep in mind that the dancer is a female gender locked job. You may only change your gender once and you can never go back. Alright, now let's talk about the Dancer skill tree. I'll be highlighting some of the notable skills and when the patch is released, I'll do another demo as the exact translations may be different from the sea and global servers. For the farming skills, we have Throw Arrow for Dancers and Arrow Vulcan for Gypsies, which are both single target offensive skills. You will need to pump Dex and Int attributes for improving the damage of these skills as you'll gain additional physical attack from Int and SP due to the runes. To sustain SP while farming, you can perform the solo skill service for you while using Throw Arrow and Arrow Vulcan. Once you've changed to a Wanderer, then Severe Rainstorm will be the main farming skill due to its long range and large AoE which is almost as big as Meteor Storms. With the right set of cards and equipment, you'll be dealing massive damage with this offensive skill. For Wolves, some of the best support skills to use are Please don't forget me for decreasing attack speed and movement speed of enemies. Circle of Nature Sound for healing party members, Valley of Death which can resurrect an ally, and Scream for stunning nearby enemies. There are also skills that can only be performed with a bard counterpart. These are called ensemble skills which play a big role in WoW. Some of the useful ensemble skills are Ancient Sunset Song which increases physical attack and magic attack of allies, Loki's Veil, which blocks all skills whether enemies or ally skills within an area. Deep Sleep Lullaby, which has a chance to inflict a deep sleep status to enemies. And also there is an ensemble skill that is useful for grinding, which is the Mr. Kim a Rich Man. Using this with a board partner will increase the base and job experience gained by all party members by 100% at skill level 15. If you want to know more about the Dancer, Gypsy, and Wanderer skills, I have the information from the ROM Society linked down below. Up next, let's dive into the equipment and card set that you need to prepare for leveling up and supporting. In general, both the Bard and Dancer have similar equipment, and only vary in the weapon. For the weapon, only whips and bows are available for Dancers. Similar to musical instruments, whips are considered as ranged weapons although the normal attacks are close range. This means that the primary attribute that increases the attack of whips is dex. Also, you will benefit from items that increase range attack rather than melee attack. The whip is a must to perform solo and ensemble skills so you should prioritize getting one as soon as episode 5 arrives. You can't do normal attacks while doing performance skills, but there are offensive skills that you may use while doing an ensemble with a bard. There are two whips that will become available in episode 5. First is a Ronte Whip which is more suited for the support build as it increases max HP for survivability. This instrument is also highly suggested when farming with the Arrow Vulcan skill. Make sure to prepare these items before Episode 5. This can be crafted from the Mort NPC found here. The other whip is a Chemity Whip which is dropped by the new MVP Bloody Murderer. It is more suited for the Wanderer battle type build since it increases the damage of Severe Rainstorm. Make sure to get a plus 10 or higher Chemity Whip as every refine plus 1 increases the severe rainstorm skill damage by 2%. As for the weapon cards, you may craft or buy 2 Reign of Arrow cards as this significantly increases the skill damage of severe rainstorm. 
These are the requirements to craft the Reign of Arrow card. For the support build, you may inlay either a Meta and Egg card for more HP or a Sting Star card for more Death and M Death. At this point, if you already watched my previous Bard video, the following equipment set is the same for the Dancer class. However, if you haven't seen that yet, then please keep on watching. Next, for the armor, there are lots to choose from, such as the tights, stardust robe, and staunch clothes for the Arch or Morel 4th enchantment. But for the severe rainstorm build, the most ideal weapon to use is the elegant uniform. This is unlocked and crafted after completing the Minstrel Quest in Niflheim, a new city that will be released in Episode 5. However, for the support build, we'll benefit from using the stage costume, as it gives high death, M death, max HP, and int stat. It also gives higher damage reduction when performing skills if you have a plus 5, plus 10, or plus 15 refinement level. This is dropped by the new MVP, Lord of the Dead. As for the armor cards of the offensive build, you may use the Archer Silicon Star card for additional attack or Monarch Star card for more ignore death. Meanwhile, for the support build, use the Thara Frog card for more demi human damage reduction or two Argyopi cards to counter poison. For the offhand of the battle build, you may use either a plus 10 or a plus 15 Nalts bracelet for more range damage or a Rosa bracelet when fighting against high death monsters. As for the offhand of the support build, you may use a high refined static shield for more HP, death, M death, and damage reduction from elemental attacks, then equip it with a mark card to avoid the freezing effect. Up next for the garments, the best option is a plus 12 ancient cape, as it will now have tiers in episode 5 that will convert 1% ignore death to 0.5 attack at plus 8 refinement, and plus 3% attack at plus 12 refinement. Meanwhile, for the support build, you may go with the Bard's Cape which is dropped by the new Mini Piper. For the Garment cards, equip a Rage card or a Harpy card for a neutral damage reduction. For the Foot Gears, we have the Rune Boost for the offensive build and the Dance Shoes for the support build. The Dance Shoes is dropped by the new Mini Lolly Ruri. It has a set effect with the stage costume which increases physical attack by 5% and reduce the damage received by 10% when using performance skills. For foot gear cards, inlay a Ferris card for more HP. For accessories, you may use any of the following. Plus 12 Talk Tooth Gloves for higher damage output. Materials Leash for higher attack and faster movement speed. Luna Brooch for more SP recovery. Or Endurance Necklace for survivability. As for accessory cards, you may inlay a Zipper Bear Star card for plus 3% attack or an Ultraman card for demi-human damage reduction. Lastly, for the headgears, these are the suggested items. For the head, you may use the Ice Apple, Majestic Goat, or Cat Ear Berry for the offensive build, and the Feather Berry for the support build. For headwear cards, you may use the Andre Star card for PvE or an Agira Star card for the PvP offensive build. Agira Star card will be introduced in Episode 5 and it has a chance to inflict a fear status when the enemies are hit with your offensive skills. As for the support build, use either a Marduk card or the G-Earth card to prevent the silence or sleep effect respectively. For the face, use a Dragon Scale Stripe or Nut on Head for the offensive build and a Goblin Leader Mask for the support build. For the mouth, we have the blowgun for the offensive build and angry snarl for the support build. For the back, equip a quiver, devil wing, or plus 10 adventurer's bag for the offensive build and a midguard bag for the support build. And lastly, for the tail, get the beast tail for the offensive build and M the fairy for the support build. Lastly, here are the other things you need to prepare. Number 1. Save your Friendship Proof and Mora Coins You will need a 4th Enchant Arch for Range Attack or Morale for Ignore Death on your Whip and Armor. For as for the Support Build, you will need enchants that give damage reduction such as Tenacity and Divine Blessing 4th Enchant, HP% and Resistance to Abnormal Status. Number 2. If you're going to multi job, prepare 500,000 Zeni if you're coming from the 100 class or 88 BCC if you're coming from other job classes. 
For job change, no items are needed to change to Dancer and Gypsy. However, for changing to the Wanderer third job, you will need 500 Witch Stardust and 2 Wrapping Links. Number 3. Stock up on your guild contribution and gold medals for runes. We'll talk about the important runes to get when it arrives in the C server. Number 4. For guild praying cards, since dancers rely on skills for damage, it is best to get physical penetration, ignore death, and attack praying cards. For death praying cards, prioritize damage reduction, HP, and magic damage reduction. And for the element praying cards, prioritize fire damage reduction, wind damage reduction, and fire damage. The fire damage praying cards are good for wanderers as the burn effect of the fire arrow shower rune also affects severe ring storm. And lastly for number 5, save your zenny as many of the gears are not yet available in the current patch. Alright, so far we discussed all the equipment, cards, items, and the various ways to prepare for the upcoming dancer class. I hope that you stay tuned for more videos wherein we'll discuss ways to prepare for the upcoming episode 5. Alright, that's it for this video guys. Don't forget to like if you enjoyed watching this guide. If you're new here, I'd love you to consider subscribing by hitting the subscribe button down below. I would love to have you back. Thank you for watching and see you in our next episode.